summer night to chant, send her back. President Trump has absolutely and clearly settled on a strategy of fear focused on identity, focused on these four women of color and specifically Representative Omar. He's not saying that he disagrees just with Democrats' policies. He's saying that they will destroy your way of life. And he's seeing that as the way to get people out of their homes to go vote for him. I think yesterday what we saw was the crystallization of President Trump going from lock her up to send her back as a strategy to get people riled up. And I, I will say, what as I was watching that this morning, um, I was really struck by there was a, a little girl sitting in the crowd and the, the, the crowd started chanting, send her back. And she kind of started looking around and mm. eventually she started she started joining in. And I thought for a moment, mm. taking away the politics, what we're seeing is the next generation of Americans learning how to treat a representative of Congress who was born in a different country, but is now an American citizen. And then I think is what might be the saddest part of all of this. Mm. Yeah. That is. And um, Yamish, you bring up the little girl. How about all the children of the people in this audience, the brothers, the sisters, the family members, the people watching? You know, many are very concerned. Many you know a lot more about the rise of fascism and dictatorships and uh, the precious the preciousness of democracy. Um, and they believe that President Trump has led us down this path and he has been allowed to let us down, lead us down this path and <clears throat> has desensitized us to racism every step of the way, every time, every time he did it and there was no recourse. He created more danger for this country. And I, I really, I try not to invoke my father um, because I could never live up to to even be half who he was. But people like my father and people like Madeleine Albright who came here and made this country greater, to coin the president's term, they will tell you that this is pure and simple evil and that someone's going to get hurt, whether it be someone in an office today or in a school or anywhere in America, someone is going to get hurt, whether they are hurt personally, emotionally, psychologically, or physically. Let me just tell you, we're not in a dangerous place. We're at a place where things are boiling over, and this president is, is promulgating racism and violence. There's no two ways about it, and there are people who know a lot more about this than me who will say we are in not just a dangerous place, we've gone over the line. No, we've gone far over the line. Uh, last night was a great example of that. The president, again, doing something that his own government says is illegal, something that could get a person or a company sued because it's racist. Call racism by its name. It's racism. The United States government calls law it broken. racism. So I'm not sure why journalists and columnists all can't just call racism by its name. But Joe, also several weeks ago, he said he would take aid from a foreign government.